The word is like that lamp that is switched on in the darkness. That's the word of God. God speaks mostly through his word. Don't have to look very far. Get into the word, 2023. Circumstances. You know, Jonah found this out very clearly from God. God spoke to Jonah first, and then God had to put some circumstances in his life for him to listen. Isn't it true? He was on the ship, and they were having this terrible storm, and, the, and they said, who's the person causing this on the ship? It's me. Sorry, guys. I'm being a disobedient to God. He walked into some circumstances after he didn't want to listen to the voice of God. I want to say to you, some people are in difficult circumstances because they're not listening. Alles hard worrend, good Afrikaans word. Hard of hearing, slow to move when God speaks. God has been speaking to some of us for years about certain things, but we refuse to do it because it's outside of our comfort zone. As simple as that. Many times we say, Lord, but not me. But Lord says, yes, you, devil. Lord, but not me. Yes, you, Hiram. Lord, but not me. Yes, you, Jordan. Lord, but not me. Yes, you, Micah. <laughs> Amen. Circumstances come sometimes to wake you up. And what happened to Jonah at the end? Into a fish. Into a big fish. He got a ride for a couple of days. Three days in the fish. Imagine that. He was white. Prune. Coming out there, seawater washed, eating seaweed for three days. Huh? Some people have a seaweed diet. These days I see her. Huh? Going Jonah diet on us. Huh? <laughs> Jonah got spat out by Nineveh, the people he didn't want to speak to, the people he wanted to judge. Lord, why did you judge these evil people, rather, Lord? No, no, you're going to speak to them, Jonah. You got a message from the Lord. You see, if you call to ministry, you can't ignore it. Things will begin to happen in your life. And if you keep on ignoring it, you'll end up in the wrong places. And God will then have to forcefully take you to that place. God speaks through dreams and visions. How many of you know this? Acts chapter 2, 17. Last days I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. My sons and my daughters will prophesy. My old men will dream dreams and my young men will see visions. Amen. Joseph was a dreamer, but we have New Testament dreams as well. Amen. We have people dreaming dreams from the Lord right now. The devil's been dreaming some strange dreams. Amen. He tells me every week, this dream I had, that dream I, I have a dream. <laughs> Amen. Thinks he's Martin Luther King. <laughs> Amen. Always been eating some weird stuff at night, making even dreams. Amen. Come on. The thing is, we have to discern. And sometimes I say to the devil, this dream is from the Spirit of God. This dream is just subconscious stuff. You have to discern these things. How many of you know that? Some people, you need, you've been dreaming some stuff. You need to have to get discernment. Get someone that's got discernment in this area to help you with interpreting some of the dreams you've been having. Visions. God speaking to His people through visions. God speaks to the prophetic ministry a lot through visions and dreams. How many of you know this? Amen. And we need to not push it aside. We need to listen when prophets speak. Amen. Other people and counsel. Paul for Timothy. Some of you need some Pauls in your life. Some of you need some Timothys. Some of you need some Barnabases in your life. People that can come alongside. Some peers. People that can encourage you. But many of you need some counsel in your life. Take the counsel of people that have wisdom in the Spirit of God. Amen. Come, it's important. This is how the Lord speaks to us. Let's go on to the last one. Natural manifestations. Romans 1 verse 18 to 20 says that man has no excuse. Even if he looks up at the stars, he can see that there is God. Amen. Even sometimes when you sit in nature, that very portion of Scripture tells us that the, the unseen characteristics of God is seen in the, the things around us, the natural things. I mean, God's characteristics can be seen in the plants, in the nature, in the waterfalls, in the sea rolling in, in the tides, in the cycles, and all the things, the seasons. God can be seen in all of these things. How many of you know that? Natural manifestations. Supernatural manifestations. How many of you know that God spoke through a donkey? <laughs> Preachers love to use that one. If God can use a donkey, He can use you. Come on, tell the person next to you, you're better than a donkey. Come on, some of you saying, oh, Lord, I don't feel this thing. Oh, Lord, I'm, I don't know. Come on, God could use a donkey to speak to Balaam, and he protected Balaam through a donkey because Balaam couldn't see what the donkey could see. He wanted to force what God didn't want to happen. Amen. That which God blesses, no man can curse. 